Good morning. This is Randy Melhoff, director of the Langdon Research Extension Center. In 2019, every grower in Northeast North Dakota suffered most likely the worst harvest conditions ever. No matter what the crop, many fields were unharvested and fall tillage was rare. At the Langdon REC, we recorded 20 days of rain between the period of August 25th to August 6th. This was typical in Northeast North Dakota and would not allow the crop to dry down to safe storage levels. Then, on October 7th, Northeast North Dakota experienced a 20 to 27 inch snow event effectively shutting down harvest for good. The 2020 growing season in Northeast North Dakota began much cooler than average and coupled with additional challenges from 2019, numerous fields could not be planted within the planting date window. Therefore, many growers throughout North Dakota are forced to deal with prevent plant options in 2020 for fields that could not be planted in a timely fashion. It is projected there will be 1 million acres of prevent plant acreage throughout all of North Dakota in 2020. For my brief, brief presentation today, I would like to roll out the four options available to growers in 2020 for preventive planting. It is highly recommended that prior to making any late season prevent plant decisions, to review these options for your individual farm with your county FSA office and your trusted insurance agent. So let's get to the options. Option one, continue planting insured crops after the final planting date for those crops. In option one, growers will experience a 1% loss per day in coverage up to the last day of the insured crops late planting period. Generally, the late planting date is usually 15 to 25 days after final planting date for the insured crop. This of course depends on the insured crop as each insured crop has its own final planting date. Option two, leave the prevent plant acres idle or fallowed. If the grower decides on leaving the prevent plant acres idle or fallowed throughout the growing season, he or she will receive full prevent plant payments. Full prevent plant payments are usually 50 to 60% of the yield or revenue protection guarantee. The grower also has the option of receiving an extra 5% of yield or revenue guarantee if he or she agrees on a premium increase. The grower should also know there is a requirement to follow USDA guidelines for locally approved covers or practices for farmland prior to winter under this option. Option three, plant a cover crop after the late planting period and receive full or reduced prevent plant payment. A grower can generate extra income with no penalty if cover crop mix is hayed, baled, cut for silage or baleage on or after November 1st. Having crops mature and dry down in this scenario could be a challenge for Northeast North Dakota growers. A possible example would be replanting leftover peas or barley after the late planting period. If the cover crop is harvested for grain at any time, the prevent plant payment would be reduced to 35%. And option four, plant cover crop after the late planting period to hay, graze, cut for silage or baleage. This could be a good option for livestock producers concerning late season prevent planting. Planting hay and harvesting or grazing prior to November 1 will afford the grower 35% of the guaranteed prevent plant payment. Haying or grazing on or after November 1 will afford the grower 100% of the guaranteed prevent plant payment. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for your interest in prevent plant options. Undeniably, the very best advice I can give you is to remind you to find time to contact your county FSA office and trusted insurance agent to determine which option is best for your farm for late season prevent plant options. Mm -hmm.